leave-in conditioners available in India. There are so many leave-in conditioners out there in the market, but you don't know which one to choose. If you can relate to this problem, then keep watching. When it comes to the shine, the gloss and the moisturization of your hair, two things make the biggest difference. The DC mask that you're using and your leave-in conditioner. When it comes to how long your curls last during the week, the factor that comes into play is hold, so your gel would be responsible for that. However, when it comes to how beautiful and how shiny your hair looks, essentially it all boils down to your leave-in conditioner and your deep conditioning treatment. Today I'm going to help you understand how to pick a leave-in conditioner. Now essentially when it comes to picking the leave-in conditioner that's perfect for you, two factors come into play. Number one is your hair porosity and number two is your hair type. Under every review that I do, I get these questions like, is this suitable for low porosity hair? Or is this suitable for high porosity hair? This question becomes so difficult to answer because you have to understand that let's say one person has 2A hair that is high porosity. And on the other hand, we have a person who has 3C curls and this person also has high porosity hair. There is no way that I can say that both of these people can use the same leave-in conditioner just because they have high porosity hair. Because 2A hair will be weighed down very easily, whereas 3C hair will not be weighed down very easily. And so 3C hair can take something that is way heavier. Now, let's say you have wavy hair. All right, so you have type 2 hair. So again, I'm gonna give you two examples, 2A low porosity and 2C high porosity. Just because both of these people have type 2 hair, there is no way that I can say that both of them can use the same leave-in conditioner and be equally happy with it. Let's go a little deeper. Type 2A hair, low porosity. Type 2A hair, high porosity. Can both of these people use the same product? Possibly not. So essentially what I'm trying to say is, when you're picking a leave-in conditioner, there are two factors that come into play your hair porosity and your curl type. Both of these factors in conjunction will determine exactly which product will work for you best. There can be so many permutations and combinations, right? However, in the market, we only have so many products. And so your best bet is to pick the leave-in conditioner that comes closest to your hair's need for moisturization. And for this very purpose, I came up with a level system. So basically, when I review a product, I always tell you what level it is. So whether it's a level 1, whether it's a level 2, whether it's a level 3, 4, 5 or 6. And if you go through all of my reviews, then all of these things will be pretty relevant. However, I want to make this video where I include every single leave-in conditioner I have currently so that it makes it a little easier for you to compare between all of them. Now, when we're talking about hair type, it's important for you to understand that wavy hair gets weighed down more easily than curly hair. And so if we look at the spectrum from 2A to 2C, essentially 2A hair will be weighed down even more easily, 2B not so much, 2C lesser in comparison. And that is how we progress. 3C hair will not be as weighed down as compared to 3A hair. But it is not possible for me to recommend a leave-in conditioner just based on your hair type. It is also important for you to consider your porosity. And so I would say that both of these factors play an equal part in determining which one you should choose. Now, hair porosity. I have a detailed video on hair porosity that you can check out. I'll leave it linked down below. But essentially what you need to understand is porosity is about whether your cuticle is open or shut. Hair porosity is your hair's ability to absorb and retain moisture. This is determined by your cuticle and whether it is open or whether it is shut. Now, if your cuticle is shut, that means you have low porosity hair, which means that you have trouble absorbing moisture. If your hair is medium porosity, that means that the cuticle is slightly lifted, which means that your hair has no problem absorbing and retaining moisture. And if you have high porosity hair, then that means that your cuticle is wide open and so you have no problem absorbing moisture. But since the cuticle is open, it also lets go of that moisture very easily and so you have trouble retaining moisture. 
So essentially, high porosity hair would need heavier moisturization even if the hair feels a little greasy on day one because the hair is going to lose moisture as the week passes. Whereas when it comes to low porosity hair, since your hair has a lot of trouble retaining moisture, what you need to do is look at your formula and look at if it has film forming humectants because since your cuticle is shut, what you need to do is you are looking for humectants that coat the hair and form a film around it and in that film itself the moisture will be held and so the moisture doesn't really go into the hair but the humectant will form a film over the hair and so your hair will appear glossy. Another thing that you can do is add a little bit of heat to your routine because that's going to allow the cuticle to open slightly so that it allows some moisture to go in. You also want to look for products that are lightweight because you don't want anything weighing the hair down because this is going to reduce your shrinkage and it's also going to make your hair feel super duper greasy. Now, it would be an absolute mistake for me to say that all type 2 hair can use X product or all type 3 hair can use X product. It would also be a mistake for me to say that all high porosity hair can use X product or all low porosity hair can use Y product. So essentially it's going to be like a mix and match of both of these factors and these are going to determine what product is going to suit you best. Which is exactly why I came up with my level system because this is going to help you understand how heavy a product is, how moisturizing a product is. And so you can make your decision solely based on this level system that I've come up with. The first leave-in conditioner that we're talking about is the Unveya Curl Hair Mist. Personally, I haven't tried this product, but it seems to be a watery hair mist. This is the lightest leave-in formulated for curls in the Indian market. And so, if you need a tiny bit of moisturization, then I suppose this could be your go-to. Next, we have the Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream, which is a protein leave-in conditioner. So, if your hair needs some protein in a lightweight formula, then this could be your go-to. For my hair personally, I feel like it's not moisturizing enough. So when I use this product, I tend to layer it with another. My favorite combination includes using it with the Arata hair cream and then lastly going in with a gel. But it is noteworthy that if I use too much of this leave-in conditioner, even though it's a lightweight formulation, if I use too much, then my hair tends to feel super greasy. Next is the Northwish Naturals leave-in conditioner. This is a super lightweight product as well. And guys, it has a very unique texture. It's thin, but it's also super creamy. The fragrance is so light, yet so beautiful. It's a non-greasy formula. I can always get away with using a little extra. My favorite way to use this is with the log method, combining it with Jamaican black castor oil and jojoba oil to seal in the moisture. And then lastly, I end with some gel. I have to say that the product formulators did a fantastic job with this product. This is definitely upper echelon. If you want shrinkage but you don't want your hair to be super weighed down, then I feel like this would be your go-to. This is also a level 1.5 to 2 product. Next, let's talk about the Ashba Botanics Right Ringlet Leave-In Conditioner. This is a tad bit expensive, but trust me, the formula is upper echelon in my opinion. It has some brilliant ingredients. The texture is very thin and light, slightly on the runny side. And again, my preference is to use this with the log method. I have a video on it and you can check that out. This product does not pill and so I feel like this is a great product to refresh with because it's thin, it's light, it won't weigh your hair down. So it does a very good job on refresh days. Next, we have the Curl Up Leave-In Conditioner. This is a solid level 3 product. Alright, so if you started CG using a regular conditioner as leave-in conditioner, and trust me guys, we've all been there, this product comes very close to the moisturization that you're probably used to. I see this leave-in suiting quite a few curl types, however, I have to say that I don't care for the fragrance of the product. If you have migraines and tend to get triggered by fragrances, then I would say that this product probably will not be for you. Because personally, if I'm being honest, I find the fragrance of this to be very off-putting. However, I have to note that the product is great for moisturization and fairly decent for shrinkage. Alright, so next, let's talk about the Fix My Curls Curl Quenching Hair Butter. 
This product is a level 4 and is the best fit for me when it comes to moisture retention, since I have hyperosty hair. This product needs a lot of emulsifying with water before application. It tends to pill and bunch up if you don't comb through after application. And so if you're applying using praying hands, I would say either start off emulsifying this with a lot of water and then only apply, else you'll have to apply it and then definitely comb through. This product has a bit of hold on its own and so it would be great for refreshes when you need like a one and done product. However, this product also tends to be slightly heavy on fragrance, but the brand also did mention that they were gonna reduce the fragrance of the product. So maybe this issue has already been resolved. Either way, if you have high porosity hair and you're really struggling with moisture retention, then I feel like this would be a great option for you. It's great for moisture, but not that great when it comes to shrinkage. And you have to be super careful of how much you're using because if you use too much, then this will definitely weigh your hair down. Okay, so next we have the hair butters from Earth Rhythm. If you feel like you need a lot more moisture-wise and none of the products in the Indian market are cutting it for you, or let's say you have kinky or coily hair and need something that is super heavy for your hair, then maybe these hair butters could be for you. They were formulated as hair masks, but they also double as leave-in conditioners. I would say be super careful about the quantity that you're using when you're starting off with the product because you do not want this to break you out. Anyway, let's end on a good note. Earth Rhythm as a brand is fragrance free, which means that the fragrance of the product is a little on the funky side. However, if you have migraines and you get triggered by fragrances, and also you need that super extra moisturization, then I feel like this could be your go-to. So what I've attempted to do in this video is to show you all of your options. However, this is not my final word on the product. I have detailed reviews of each. My curl up review will be coming soon. I'm still experimenting with the stuff. But if you've seen something here that you like, I would request you before spending your money, because obviously all of these options are super pricey, right? I would say before spending your hard earned money, watch my detailed reviews. I tend to cover all of the points in detail and so that would help you make up your mind before you buy a leave-in conditioner. So just remember that this video is like a summary, but if a product in this video interested you, then I would say watch my detailed reviews and then after that make your decision. My review on Curl Up as a brand will be coming out pretty soon. I'm still experimenting with their stuff. Also just to mention things, I have 2B, 2C hair, I do have a few 3A pieces which are just emerging on my hair. My hair is high porosity, medium density, medium coarseness. So picking a leave-in conditioner is going to be a little tricky in the beginning. Maybe there's a chance that you will get lucky and you'll pick the right one for your hair from the on start. And that's fabulous. However, there could also be a chance that you've bought a leave-in conditioner and it doesn't work for you. When you're starting, just start. And then after that, you'll notice that no matter what product you've started with, it is going to give you a really nice baseline. And you can compare your future results to that baseline and then understand what worked for you better. My advice would be to use the lightest leave-in conditioner that you can find because if it doesn't work for you, then you can always use the log method and it is going to enhance your results. If you pick a leave-in conditioner that is too heavy for you, you can use a little less of it, but you'll notice that your hair feels really greasy. And essentially when you're starting, I would advise you not to use super heavy products because anyway, your hair is gonna feel very, very heavy. So we wanna minimize that heavy feeling. We wanna keep you away from anything that weighs your hair down. Pick the lightest leave-in conditioner that you can find. I have reviews on every single leave-in conditioner available in the Indian market. You can check it out. I have an entire playlist on curly hair products and I stress a lot on leave-in conditioners. So you can check out that playlist once you're done with this video. My advice to you would be this. Pick a leave-in conditioner that is a level two and then if it doesn't work for you, watch my log video. You'll just have to spend like two, three hundred rupees more to buy an oil. And so the money doesn't really go to waste because it's easier for you to use something that is lighter than what your hair needs rather than using something that is too heavy for your hair. Because essentially in the beginning, without you understanding porosity, without you understanding your true hair texture, we want to stay away from heavy products and we want to keep things very, very light. 
which is exactly why in this video which is like my beginner routine video i use the lightest leave-in conditioner available in the indian market i made that video for beginners and i knew that if beginners are watching the video and are tempted to buy these products then these products would suit you regardless of your curl type and regardless of your hair porosity Essentially, my recommendation would be check out this video, look at the leave-in conditioner that I'm using, look at the conditioner that I'm using, and these would suit your hair regardless of what your hair is like. Later on, if you feel like, no, this is too light for me and I need some more moisturization, then I have a video on log that you can check out. And you can use this technique if you want a little more moisturization and you feel like your current leave-in conditioner is not really hitting the spot for you and you need a little bit more moisturization-wise. So, if you enjoyed this video, then there's a very good chance that you might enjoy one of these and feel free to go through my channel. You'll find so much content if you're interested in hair care.